blazing of 69 hours. So, how has the uh, tour been going, would you say? It's been brilliant. It's, it's uh, always a big thrill to come back to the States, you know, like uh, uh, some might say that the 69 Eyes is the most American band coming out of America, you mm -hmm. know. So uh, it's, a, it's a big thrill to be here, to play here, to meet our fans. And of course we have a new album out, which is like finally after all these years, like really well promoted. Mm -hmm. Basically the 69 Eyes have existed in the States only because of MySpace. Yeah, you know, yeah. Now we have like, uh, I've done a lot of interviews and even radio interviews and even some talk shows. I just did a Fox News Red Eye a couple of days ago in New York. So okay. it's like, like something's really happening at the moment for us and that's cool. And we have a great album, it's called Back in Blood, mm -hmm. which is just came out a couple of weeks ago. So that's what we are promoting here. But you know, the 69 has, has been going on like 20 years. So yeah. I mean, of course we promote an album, but on the other hand, we're just like promoting the 69 eyes as a, uh, you know, as a phenomenon or as a, as a eternal rock band as well. Was, um, awesome. And besides, we, we came to here to celebrate Halloween, finally. Oh, it's the first Yay. time ever to be in the States to celebrate Halloween, so that's what we're fun night. Yeah, it's exciting. It's also on um, with the other two bands, how has it been going on tour? Oh yeah, it's a fantastic tour. Uh, mm -hmm. We're headlining and two, there's two other bands called uh, The Becoming mm -hmm. and the, the, the third band is called Domin. Yeah. And they, they, we all somehow connect, like musically, our mu musical roots are pretty much like the same and both other bands are represent like different kind of side of the darkness yeah. but it's like melancholic rock yeah. and uh, something for you know two girls to bring flowers and, and boys to come to meet beautiful girls it's a nice. perfect night yeah, and you mentioned also we were talking earlier about the goth you know scene mm -hmm. and how it's been growing especially here with your music and you know a lot of people have been mentioning you guys here, especially in Michigan. Yeah. Well, you're, you know, you said this new album coming out. It's been like people even mentioned. I didn't even know that we're into the scene or like All right. talking about you guys. Yeah, so. it's just like um, uh, definitely uh, there's a California goth scene, oh, yeah. which <laughs> we've been involved with. But the, also every time we toured here in in this, uh, how do you call it, northern states? Northern, yeah. Yeah, northern so states, the, yeah. yeah, these this area like like Michigan and Chicago. So there's always been like. Um, and like, of course, you guys have a long history for gothic industrial scene, oh, yeah. Yeah, and, and how I experienced it, that there's always like uh, uh, some uh, support bands, with, you know, interesting uh, industrial support bands for us in these tours, and and there's been great club nights afterwards. So it's it's all exciting as well, you know. I mean, New York City, that's New York City rock and roll, yeah. and and then LA has has like it's Hollywood rock scene, and yeah. also like a California and gothic scene, gothic scene, and so on. And uh, you know, every every place has its own flavor. For me, of course, uh, Detroit rock city is, is yeah. something which which really inspired the '69 Eyes when we started, like Iggy and the Stooges, MC5, uh, you know, all, all that musical heritage is somehow carried by the 69 us as well but you know this like a little bit recent stuff like this dark industrial thing is yeah. really exciting too it's kind of like help you expand kind of yeah grow. yeah i think that's something to well you know it's just probably the big principles why people start to make music at certain place they always remain that like the same mm -hmm. you know? yeah also another question is how did you guys come up with the name 69 eyes uh, that's 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 a question is always asked. I mean, um, I read some interview by Andrew Elrich from Sisters of Mercy, mm -hmm. who said that uh, that there's no band in the world who can answer that correctly. Yeah. I mean, Rolling sure. Stones, uh, Sisters of Mercy. That's it's it's not that clear. Yeah. yeah it's just not like like we we had three names and then we yeah. voted and this one. It, it's like. It's like it's been symbolized. It's been symbolizing like a Helsinki sleazy vampire rock last mm -hmm. 20 years, and you know it, it. It depends on how dirty mind you have, what what kind of images you got from that. Yeah, that's very true. And also, I'm curious about one of. Um, well, someone was asking the other day about one of your older songs that, yeah. like, from a couple of years ago, uh, Lost Boys. Yeah, yeah. A lot of uh, I know a lot of people in the scene. And actually, I was at a club one day, and all of a sudden they started playing that. Okay, cool. Uh, so it's interesting how like, we're talking back with your music, how the music is growing and people are starting to m listen to it more and more, that, which is nice to hear, even in a club scene here. Yeah, it's, it's like, a, well, it's definitely a club, club 
song. I mm -hmm. mean, it, it fills the dance floor, I guess, at least in some parts of the, this world I've seen that happen. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and that makes people crazy. We play that as well, our last uh, song on, on, on at our show. So yeah. that always works out like that. Uh, that's naturally, the song itself is inspired by this uh, uh, vampire movie, Lost Boys, naturally. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, you know, I was like, uh, I went to see the movie when it came out, mm -hmm. and that, well, that was like 87 or something. And uh, yeah. you know, those days, um, rock and roll was very, um, and hard rock was like a really big thing. You know, Guns N' Roses yeah. just had an album out, Billy Idol, Mötley Crüe, everything was like really happening at, 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 at their full bloom. And then, then comes out the vampire movie, the rock and roll vampires. Yeah. But the music wasn't exactly what I expected. I was like, where is this hard rock and where is this yeah. Hollywood glam rock or something like that in that movie? And uh, it has great mu music, of course, in, in the end. I mean, uh, the soundtrack is is, is very uh, cool thing, but I expected something else, a little bit, at least a little bit. So it bothered me all these years. and. Then we just came up the the idea of what about writing a song called Lost Boys. So it's sort of like a, like like a, like a, you know the title of the song for the movie up done yeah. later on later by on by, on by some strange band from Helsinki, mm -hmm. Finland, and and it's it started the cult again. We did the uh, video for the song with Bam Margera. Yeah. Uh, and, and the video itself is like a, like a remake of the whole movie. Yeah. And strangely enough, you know, there's a second episode for that movie called uh, uh, what is it, Lost Tribe or oh, something. Oh, yeah, Lost Boys, like, the Tribe or something. The yeah. Tribe or yeah. something like that. And um, first, I was I was kind of like uh, disappointed that even that didn't include the Six and Nine Ice music. Oh, yeah. Get okay, time to wake up. <laughs> and uh, you know, vampire clock. It's it's, it's already six, so you know. Yeah. Uh, turn on the coffin later. <laughs> Come to right. the world. So you know, it's um, it's it was strange, and, and, and you know, then, then this new episode comes out, and, and if you take it out, it's interesting that uh, it, it has like vampires who drive with motorbikes, and one of them is wearing like this skeleton uh, leather jacket, which I was wearing in our video, right, yeah. and then there's a. Uh, the friends of the vampires is, is like this skater board dude who's having like the Bam Margera outfit. Yeah, you're right. So it's like a hold on. Where if 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 our song and if our video was inspired by the original movie, was this second episode inspired by our remake oh of the movie Maybe. video or something? Well, most likely it is. So yeah. so it was it was it's kind of cool. In right. the end, I mean, no hard feelings. Just yeah. like call me when you do the third one. Understand? Yeah, <laughs> yeah You know where to find me. <laughs> also, I was going to ask with the new album now. Um, as far as like future plans, what do you guys have in store for? Uh, well, it, this is the ultimate thing for us to tour in the states during the Halloween month. Oh yeah. And uh, this takes up still like a couple of weeks for us to finish, and then we tour in Europe. And uh, next year, even more Europe, the UK, and mm -hmm. and the old continent, and hopefully we'll come back like before summer to tour here in the states. Okay, nice. Yeah. All right. Well, that was all I have today. All right. Nice meeting you guys, yes. and uh, let there be goth. <laughs>